Welcome back to a new video, everybody. Today, we're going to go ahead and install our Gianfino G5 Pro Smart Deadbolt Lock. Now, I've already done the unboxing, so go check that out on other platforms or see the full video on my YouTube channel. All you're going to need for this is a screwdriver. We're doing an install that already has a deadbolt here, so we shouldn't have to do any drilling. If you're looking for that kind of video, there's plenty out there. Now, this was sent by our good friends at Gianfino to try, but I was looking for a deadbolt to do anyway. I had one in my car, but as soon as I saw this one, I decided this was the one I had to have. And there's a couple of reasons, and I'll show those as we get to the install. Now, let's do a quick time lapse of removing this deadbolt lock. Just a couple of screws here. And then give me a couple of screws here. Let's get to it. When we're cherry picking boys in the front of the bar. When we're kissing, making noise in the back of the car. That's my man, that's my man, that's my man, that's my man. That's my man, that's my man, that's my man, that's my man. When we're crying on the floor, cause we're way too drunk. When we're laughing when it's over, cause we're so in love. That's my man, that's my man, that's my man, that's my That's my man, that's my man, that's my man. He got high hopes, he got dumb jokes He likes kissing on the street so they all know Likes to hold it down, likes to pull ropes He don't even gotta tell me we should go home He said walk fast Okay, next we're gonna put in the bolt. Chin Fino gives you this cool little template here with a line marking the edge of the door, face and the side of the door so you can see which hole you have or which hole you need to drill, whichever the case may be. We're gonna put it on your door here and see where yours lines up at. Now, depending on which one of these circles is your center hole for your door, you're going to want to fix your bolt and I'm going to show you here. You turn it 180 degrees. You could see this little cylinder come out for a, a door hole that's further in or closer, whichever. I believe mine is this one. I'm going to put it in and test fit it so we could see. I'll pop it in there. Luckily, you have a marker to mark the top, so where your mechanism is going through, you're going to have it on the bottom, and it's marked, stamped into the metal top right there. Put that in there. And I don't know if you can see this on camera, but my hole is right in the center. This is where I want it, so i go ahead and stick a couple of screws in that. I'm not going to cinch these screws down because I'm going to want to get everything in place first, and then I'll tighten it down. These screws from Gianfino are the standard screw size, but you can use the ones you take out, or if these screws are too small, you can get oversized ones at the hardware store. Just tell them what you're doing, and they'll be able to get you what you need. Just enough to make it sure it's seated here, but then I'm gonna loosen it up so I have a little bit of give. There we go, it sits on there very nicely. This Turn these back just a couple of turns here. Trying to let the camera see, which I can't. There we go. Now I got some, a little bit of movement on there. Next step. Next step, we're going to install the outside door piece here, the finger pad and lock itself. Now, I said there's two reasons why I chose this one. Here's one of them. Nice steel, very nice clink, heavy steel. So this is gonna be a really nice lock. So this 
is the lock mechanism. We're going to want to make sure this is in the horizontal position, so horizon, horizontal. And we're going to feed this connector for the electronics through underneath of this lock right here. So let's go ahead and do that. When you get through placing this, you may have to uh, pull out a little rasp and work on your holes a little bit, but I got mine in there. You have your face uh, lock plate on the outside here. I have my wire coming down under the strike bolt, and we're ready to put on the next part. That's going to be this nice little uh, TP weather molding. And then it's going to be two screws and the inside bracket that your, <laughs> two screws and the inside bracket that your inside uh, door lock is going to mount on. Give you two screws. These are the finely threaded, not the coarse threaded. The coarse threaded are for the catch and the, bolt itself. Let's get it on. When we're cherry picking boys in the front of the bar. When we're kissing, making noise in the back of the car. That's my man, that's my man, that's my man, that's my that's my man, that's my man, that's my man, that's my When we're crying on the floor, cause we're way too drunk. When we're laughing when it's over, cause we're so in love. That's my man, that's my man, that's my man, that's my that's my man, that's my man, that's my your lock operation. Put it back horizontally. Next step. The next thing to go on is going to be the motor unit with the battery holder. Most important thing to note here is the orientation of the thumb screw for locking and unlocking the door. If you've got a left hand door as I do here, then it's going to go on in the horizontal position. Thus, turning it like that will send the bolt out. If you've got a right hand door like this one, if it was on this side, the orientation is going to be vertical and the lock is going to come this way. When we look at the back, there's a little drawing here that tells you which way to set the controls for your door. First, you're gonna set the thumb screw. In my case, it's a left hand door. That's this top one. I'm gonna put it horizontally, like the horizon. If you have the other door, right hand opening door, you're gonna set it vertically, okay? Next thing is this little switch down here. It's gonna go on the right for right hand door, on the left for left hand door is noted here. And this little plug here is where your electronics for the outside are gonna plug into the control board here. Let's get that put on. Feed my electronic wire, my pigtail, back in to the hole here. I can get my lock lined up. I'm gonna turn it upright and stick it on the and stick it on the two ears here that are going to line up with it and push it on. Now your lock should right. And finally the last part to go on is going to be your nice steel decorative plate that goes on the inside here with three screws one on each side and one on the bottom to hold it in place. And that's your finished installation. Now, we'll be back to show how it works.
That'll wrap it up for this install video. On the next one, we'll be installing the TTL lock application and setting up our new smart lock. Thanks for watching, everyone.